you know, we're going after big crappie. Uh, you're not always going to catch big crappie. You're going to catch small ones, little ones, you're going to catch bass. And we're going to be concentrating on these small lakes here in North Texas. And there's a bunch of them. And I'll tell you the technique we're going to be using, and it's Let's Fish TV. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Check that out. It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southwest region every week. Cobia! Big one. And a monster! Look Beautiful. at that! That's a Tawakini giant. This is Let's Fish. Hey everybody, Wally Marshall, man. I'll tell you what, we're gonna be keying in on some big crappie on small reservoirs in North Texas. We're talking about some soil conservation lakes, small lakes, but the history of this is these lakes have been here for years and years and years. And you can fish them from the shore, you can fish them from a boat, depending, hey, they range from 10 acres to 75 to 100 acres on these soil conservation lakes in the state of Texas. So today, we're targeting monster crop. We will have this week's fishing report from your local region from the Insider Reporters. Hey, we're gonna back this boat in and we're gonna get ready to go crappie fishing. I'm gonna get all my gear together. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna pitch it back to the studio for your weekend planning. Hello everybody. These salooner tables are predicting fair game fish activity on both days this weekend. Peak times begin at 4.37 on Saturday and 5.28 early Sunday morning. Prime daytime activity will begin at 5.03 on Saturday and 5.54 late Sunday afternoon. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 6.22 and set at 8.40. Evenings will feature a moon that is 33% visible. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, Bassmaster Elite Angler Mark Menendez stops by to answer your Ask the Pro question. It's hard being Mr. Crappie because here it is, Tuesday, Wednesday, middle of the week, going fishing. Hey, it's a great deal. I wish y'all were out here with me. But, you know, in Texas, there's a lot of soil conservation lakes. And if you can get access to some of these lakes, I'm telling you, you'll be surprised at what kind of fish is in these soil. These, these lakes were built back in the 60s. And over the years, you know, a lot of them hadn't even been touched. But if you can, uh, a lot of them you can fish from the shore, the bank, etc. But I'm telling you, there's some big crappie, big bass, big catfish in all these lakes. And we're going to catch some today and uh, show you some monsters. Big, big crappie. Come on, fish, I see you there. Just show me a good time. Oh yeah. Who's your slab daddy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on in here, big boy. Pulling that drag here a little bit. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Man. You know, as I was talking about smaller lakes in Texas, you've got Lake Bonham, you got Coffee Mill, you got all these little lakes, Athens, these smaller lakes, hey that hadn't had a lot of pressure, it's got a lot of big crappie, like this one right here. That's about 13 and a half inches with a big old mug on him. He was eating the little joker there, the who dat, that's the color. So what we're doing here is there's some structures in this lake, natural trees that are submerged, brush piles, PVC, there's a little bit of everything in here, and what I'm doing is I'm pitching at them, and I catch all of them that I'm pitching at that will bite, then I'll get right up on top of it, then vertical fish it. If you'll notice, I've been pitching, 
which is a technique that I like to do with this rear seat pro target is just let a release there, do a pitch, or have your drag set to where you can strip out line just in vertical fish straight up and down. The slower you can fish it, the more fish you're gonna catch. So just throwing it out there and trying to retrieve it back as fast as you can ain't always the ticket. The slower you fish it, the more fish you're gonna catch. And yeah, when you're crappie fishing, you're gonna get hung up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Hey, slab, come on in here, brother. You got your name. Come on in here. See what I was doing there is I was just slow reeling it, just slow reeling it, and came right over that pile and Kapowee! <laughs> hey, he ain't no monster, but he's a scraper. We're not going to do that today. And and uh, I'll tell you, the lures that I've designed, this sausage pin is an awesome bait. It's got a great swivel, willow leaf blade. I'm throwing an eighth ounce, and it's got living eyes in it. And uh, got it loaded up with a joker right now in the hoodat color. Turn that little boy back. You're gonna catch another. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you once again by Athlon Optics. Premier Optics at an affordable price and offering you a lifetime warranty on those Athlon products. Now this week we're gonna start at Richland Chambers. We're gonna find that the sand bass and the hybrid stripers are both moving out to their summer haunts where they're gonna spend the next several weeks. This includes places like the 309 Flats. Get out there, throw baits for sandies like your quarter ounce trap, you can throw a small slab, you can throw a weighted punch shed, you can throw a top water when they come up on top, something like a torpedo. The hybrids, they'll stay a little deeper, more than likely you'll find them about 15 to 20 feet. Throw out a heavier slab, one half to one ounce, fire it as far as you can, let it sink. Give it a few cranks, punch that button, let it fall again. Keep repeating that all the way back to the boat and you'll catch some of those RC hybrids. Now out at Texoma, the stripers, you have two choices. You can fish early, shallow, with top waters like your pencil poppers and your chug bugs. You'll be catching smaller fish, but there's a zillion of them out there and they'll hit along those bluffs and points early in the morning on those top waters. A lot of fun. However, if you want the bigger stripers, get some live bait, get out over the deeper channel. You're gonna fish anywhere from 15 to 25 feet deep for those bigger Texoma stripers. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes. Look us up on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. <laughs> on these soil conservation lakes, there ain't no telling what you're gonna catch. I'm after crappie and catching big bass. Hey, that just goes to show you, them sausage pins are the real deal. Look at here. Come here, boy. Show me your teeth. Hmm. Hey, Andrew. I got your boy right here. They out there fishing them tournaments, you ought to get you some of these sausage pins. Hey, when you size down, man, look at that big old healthy bass. Woo! Man. Here you go, little buddy. Thanks for the fun, man. Six pound test, catching four pound bass. Not a bad deal. Hey, but I love my job. <laughs> Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Visit Mississippi. Wanderers welcome. Powerful. Total boat control. Balls out. Made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on, challenge your limits. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Come in here, darling.
I'm talking about. Come in here, darling. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Slab Daddy. Hey, stuck that puppy right in the bottom of the lip. <laughs> he hit it coming up when I was pulling it. Just barely had him hooked. Oh, that's a nice little fish right there. No, I'll tell you. It's the rod and the technique that I'm using. When I started out this morning, I was pitching at them and swimming it and pitching at it, swimming it. They're so far down in that structure right now, I'm having to use this nine foot rear seat pro target by Luz. I'm telling you, it is the bomb because it has a fast tip, a lot of backbone, it's got the wind grips, and I've got it loaded up with my brand new 2023 Wally Marshall Pro Target spinning reel. 11 ball bearings, baby. We're talking about top of the line, catching these slabs like this. Mm-hmm. Well, hit it like you live. Cut followed it all the way up to the top. Little, little black crappie. You know, the difference between a white crappie and a black crappie, the black crappie, the specks run along his body and a white crappie, I'll show you in a minute, the stripes run down his body like this. But this is a black crappie right here where the specks are running long ways on the fish. Here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Come on in here, white crappie. Oh, perfect example right there. Yeah. I'll tell you. Like I was telling you about black and white crappie, this crappie right here has stripes on it. This is a white crappie. The black crappie had specks down along its body. This crappie's got the stripes. You can see them going like this right here. Right there, buddy. Hey, thanks, little man. Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with this week's Let's Fish Outdoor Report. Coming to you from Hackberry, Louisiana, right here at Cajun Paradise Charters. I'll tell you what, we're going to keep it right here in Hackberry, Louisiana, Lake Coppershoe, saltwater fishing. Right now, we're getting into that early time where it's hot. It's way hotter than normal, a little earlier in the year, but I tell you what, we are catching lots of speckled trout, lots of redfish. Birds are working trout. You can throw eighth and quarter ounce jig heads there with whatever soft plastics you choose to throw, but we prefer the down south lures. Tell you what, redfish, live shrimp under a cork. Also, redfish getting caught at the Gulf Jetties live finger mullet. When it calms down, the surf is super hot. You can catch trout and redfish in the surf. Look for clear water, look for bait. Tell you what, later in the day, along the Calcasieu Ship Channel, those fish seem to pull off in six to 15 foot of water. Fish your ledges there and you will do great. On the freshwater side of things, Crappie fishing at Toledo Bend right now is fantastic. 20 to 30 foot of water, mostly brush piles, live shiners, live jigs, lay down logs, they're all holding lots of crappie. Seems to be doing great there. For Occasion Phil, I'm Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing. May God bless, we're gonna see you right here next week. And let's fish. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Taiwan On, Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Look <laughs> at that right there, boys. He got it sucked all the way down in there. It is so smooth. Hear that drag? Mm-hmm. Come on, be about a two and a half pounder. What are you, buddy? What are you? Ooh, what a crappie. What a crappie. Ugh. Ugh. He's got it sucked way down in there. Mm. Mm. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh, 
take it down right there, boys. He got it sucked all the way down in there. Yee! Man, can you believe that? Now you talking about a sausage head. This is a sausage head. Man, you know, back in the day in Garland, Texas, I was a plumbing superintendent and I fished a tournament with Joel Peacock down at Cedar Creek Lake. Then he went on a boat, I was wade fishing. and Man, you talking about 300 teams in a crappie tournament, it was called Crappie Thon, and uh, Joel and I won the first tournament ever held in the state of Texas. And I'm telling you folks, ever since then, it's been one heck of a ride, trademarking Mr. Crappie in 1997 and uh, still out here doing it today. I'm gonna let this big fish go. Hi, Matt Pangrak here with the Bass Talk Live podcast, and this is your fishing report for Oklahoma. The post-spawn is over. It's full-time summer patterns for the bass across the majority of Oklahoma. And in the northeast part of Oklahoma, Grand Lake is no exception. Grand Lake is one of the best non-grass lakes in the country for largemouth bass. And this time of year, the bass in the Mid Lake region between Drowning Creek and Duck Creek all the way down to catch them are offshore in the 12 to 20 foot range in brush piles. Now there's two key baits that you're going to want to use for these fish after you locate these brush piles. That's a 10 inch plum Texas rigged worm and a three quarter ounce football head. You're going to want to drag that bait through the brush to target those summertime bass. Look for brush piles on points and secondary points adjacent to main lake channels with a hard rock or gravel bottom. Hey, if you want more information on bass fishing, not only in Oklahoma, but across the country, follow the BTL podcast every Monday through Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Central Time on the BTL YouTube channel or BassZone.com. I love crappie fishing. I live for the thump, man. And you know, Lynn Reeves at Lou's decided he wanted to get into crappie business, so I tied up with Lynn and had a great run with Lou's, and I'm still with Lou's designing some of the finest crappie products on the market today. And I design all, I'm very blessed, I get to design all of the Strike King uh, baits also. I come up with the Joker, the, oh man, that big dog come out of that pile. He's still after it, but he ain't got it. Uh, but, you know, I designed the Shad Pole, Crappie Thunder, Joker, Slabalicious. It's a lot of fun, man, being able to get to do what I get to do on a daily basis in the fishing industry under the Mr. Crappie brand. And with guys like Andrew and these other guys out here that give me opportunities to be on their shows, man, it's an honor to be on Let's Fish TV, and I'll tell you, this has been one heck of a crappie trip. Ooh, ooh, this one could be nice. This one could, ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. Come on up in here, daddy-o. Come on up in here. Come on up in here. Ooh, that's a big old fish. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Thick. Man, that's pretty. Whew. I'll tell you what, folks. I have had one heck of a day catching big crappie, little crappie, big bass. But hey, that's what you get in small reservoirs. You know, you got a little bit of mix of everything. Some catfish, some chug heads, some brim. But hey, these old crappie right here are like freight trains. You seen that sucker right there pulling? And they're all hitting that crappie thunder. Who that is the color with the chartreuse head on that sausage pin. Boy, that's a pretty fish. Hey, until next time, I'm gonna do a Jimmy Houston. 
Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Welcome back everybody. Let's get right on over to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Philip would like to know, what can I do to ensure my young son has a positive fishing experience? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler, Mark Menendez. First and foremost, as a dad, don't push. Put your rod down, help him. Go to a farm pond where he gets lots of bites quickly. That's the key, keep that interest for that young person in fishing, or your daughter. Your daughter can catch them too. Make sure that the techniques that he's using are not complicated, make it simple. Make it a Ned rig, make it a spinner bait, something that he can wind to keep his interest. And when he's tired and he wants to quit fishing and play in the mud and catch a few crawfish or chase the dog down the lane, let them do that. Fish in short terms, short minutes on their pace and your son will love fishing just like your daughter will. Thank you so much, Mark. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com, follow that Ask the Pro link and submit your very own question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. The bait we were using today uh, was the sausage spins. The sausage spin is actually the head with the, with the willow leaf blade. This is a great swivel. It turns great at slow speeds. I really don't want it to spin. I want it to make a little clicking noise like shad and bait fish, and it really attracts crappie in stained water like we were in today. We were in like muddy to stain. And I was using an eighth ounce sausage pin loaded up with a lure that I designed 21 years ago, the Crappie Thunder. It has 24 tentacles and it's a solid body and we make it in about 18 or 19 different colors now. And this is the color called the Hoodat. I was loading it up with that Mr. Crappie six pound test it breaks it at eight and a half pounds tensile strength. And I like using the high-vis line because I like, I'm a line watcher and it helps me catch more fish. Hey, on today's show, we were using the Wally Marshall Pro Target series. We make this series from all the way from six foot six all the way to 16 foot in length. But on the rear seat models, we have an eight foot, nine foot, 10, 11, and 12. And I like the nine foot model and with this rear seat, I've got it loaded up with the new coming out this summer at ICAST that'll be ready this fall, the new Wally Marshall spinning reel, 11 ball bearings, five, two to one ratio. I'm talking about a sweet reel and the drag is amazing. If you noticed on the show today, I had that drag set to where, hey, you get a big fish on, you give them a little bit of drag and you're not ripping that membrane in that crappie's mouth. Hey. The Wally Marshall Pro Targets by Lou's are awesome, brother. Super lightweight, it's an all-day rod. With this nine-foot rod, I can pitch, flip, dip, skip, fish bobbers, do it all. Hey, see you next time on Let's Fish TV.